Hello, welcome to another episode of Draco Does It. Today we're going to be taking out these freeze plugs. So um, I already removed them from the other side and I'm going to actually roll this on its side so they don't fall in, but I'm going to start tapping them loose to show you what I'm talking about. So I have a bunch of different little taps, but um, this one seems to be working just fine. It's like an old one I had laying around. And what I'm doing is I'm, I've got new ones I'm going to be installing, so I'm just tapping right here on the edge of them uh, to break them free with a hammer. And I'm, it's, it's, it's popping loose and it's almost free and what I'm going to do now is roll it on its side um, after I get them all loose. Yeah, so that one's about to pop free. I don't want it to fall in. If it does, you can get a magnet or something, but I, depending on the engine, it could fall into the crevices in here or whatnot, depending. So um, this side has three small ones. The other side had one big one and two small ones. This is them. So there's two small ones and one big one. This side has just three small ones. So that's kind of interesting. And tap this one free. So that one's about free. That one's cracked three on one side. That one fell all the way in. So I'll get a magnet and try to set it in place before I roll it on its side and then we'll use some pliers to get it out. Right, so I'm going to use a magnet for that one. I got some needle nose pliers. So hopefully I can grab onto the side of this magnet, or the, uh, the freeze plug rather. And I'm going to kind of just wedge it in place. I'll wedge it in place like that, and then we're going to roll this on its side and pull them out. So I'll go ahead and rotate my engine stand. And then we'll move to the other side. So, roll it on its side. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, without scraping the, the sides too much, I'm going to pull them out. So, get a good grip on it. And you want to rotate it enough to where you can get some pliers on it, like these ones. And you just want to pull. You can find a little wedge spot, it's nice too, but that's essentially what you want to, want to do. Let's get them out. So. Just pull. That one, the tiny ones seem to be more difficult. They just have less surface area to grab. So, they're not as friendly. And it's good to get them out because there's, there's all kinds of gunk in here that we want to flush out in the uh, hot tank. So, try to grab this guy. And then, Go ahead and got the third one. So you want to make sure you order a set that matches. Looks like you need five smalls and one big one here for the correct size. We'll have to measure them and make sure we order the right ones for our vehicle based off part number, physical measurements, or kit. Thanks for joining Draco Does It on another little adventure, pulling out some freeze plugs. Next video, we'll show how to install them. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.